Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve questions from CBSC Class 10 2023-24 practice questions for Mathematics Standard with the subject code 041. And we are going to start with section A, which is one mark questions. And there are 20 questions in this section, carrying one mark each. So let us start with the first one. Which of the following could be the graph of the polynomial? x minus 1 the whole square times x plus 2. Now this is a question from the polynomials chapter. And we have to find out, out of the given four graphs, which graph represents the given polynomial. Now this graph represents a cubic graph. Cubic graph is 1 where the degree or the power of x is 3. Now how did we get to know this, that this is a cubic graph? Now here, x minus 1 to the power of 2 gives us the degree of x as 2 and here x plus 2 here the degree of x is 1 because here the power of the entire bracket is 1. So 2 plus 1 gives us a total value of 3. So we got to know that the power or degree of x is 3 and whenever the degree of x is 3 it is going to be a cubic polynomial. Now cubic polynomial is of the shape S. You can see this is in the shape of somewhat S. This is in the shape of S and this is in the shape of S. So by looking at the graphs, we can just understand that A is not a graph of the given polynomial. So A is out of the option. Now we have to check out of B, C and D which represents the given polynomial. Now let us first write down that the given polynomial x minus 1 the whole square times x plus 2 is equal to y. So let us write down the given polynomial y is equal to x minus 1 the whole square times x plus 2. Now over here we are going to first make y equal to 0 to find out the values of x. So let us take let y equal to 0. So we will write here 0 equals x minus 1 to the power of 2 times x plus 2. Remember that when we take y equal to 0, we are just going to find out where our graph is going to touch the x-axis, at which points. Now we have x minus 1 to the power of 2 equal to 0. So let us independently write it equal to 0. This is one of the factors and we are going to write the second factor x plus 2 equal to 0. Now x minus 1 to the power of 2 we can write it as x minus 1 times x minus 1 equal to 0. Which means again we can just split up the factors and write it as x minus 1 equal to 0 that is this factor equal to 0 and the second factor is x minus 1 equal to 0 and our third factor is x plus 2 equal to 0. So now let us find out the values of x. Here x equal to 1 by taking the negative 1 on the other side of equal to sign. Similarly here also x equal to 1. And for the third factor, we get x equal to negative 2 by taking the positive 2 on the other side of equal to sign. So now we can understand that our graph touches at point x equal to 1 and at x equal to negative 2. So let us check out of the three graphs, which of the graph touches the x-axis at 1 and at negative 2. Now in B, we can see that yes, our graph touches the x-axis at 1 and at negative 2. So this can be one of the options. Let us see C. It touches 1 and negative 2 as well. So C also needs to be considered. And D touches at 2 and negative 1. But we need 1 and negative 2. So D is out of the option. Now we have to check out of B and C which is the correct answer because both of them touch at x equal to 1 and x equal to negative 2. Now for this, we are going to make the x values equal to 0 in this expression. 
Now when we make our x equal to 0, we are actually looking at the y axis. That is where is our curve going to touch or cross the y axis. So right now if I put x equal to 0 here, we get y equal to 0 minus 1 the whole square times 0 plus 2. So 0 minus 1 is minus 1 to the power of 2 times 0 plus 2 is 2. And negative 1 square that is negative 1 times negative 1 times 2. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 and positive 1 times 2 is positive 2. So now we have to check out of B and C which curve cuts the y axis at 2. If we look at B, the curve touches the y axis at negative 4. And if we look at C, our curve touches at y equal to 2. So the option or the correct answer is C. And it is not B. This is how we find out which curve is the correct curve representing the given polynomial. That is once put y equal to 0, get the x values. It tells us that at what point is the curve touching the x-axis. And if there is more than one answer for the given graph, take x equal to 0 and find the y value. It will tell you at which point is the curve crossing or touching the y-axis. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.